Again. What we are going to create today, like I said, is going to be what I call the Excel picture quiz. Excel picture quiz. So you need to have Excel opened up, not Word. Okay. So I have one person with Word. Just want to make sure that we are in Excel. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a picture quiz. You're going to do A through Z or 25 or so different pictures. All right, so what we're going to start out today is we're going to just do sports teams. All right, that, you guys are going to do this one with me. We're just going to do sports teams. Okay, so the first uh, one that I want to start out with is uh, let's just do college uh, football. So give me a college football team um, that starts with an A. Okay, first one that I heard was Alabama. Okay, so go ahead and uh, you can go into the uh, the internet machine, the internet machine, and we're gonna go to Google Images. All right, so um, yeah, I have my own personal one. All right, yeah. All right, so uh, you go on there. We're gonna type in. Uh, we're gonna go to images first of all. And then we're going to type in Alabama football helmet. Okay, notice. So we got some pictures that come up here, right? All right, so let's go and just pick one of them. I'm going to just go to this one. I'm going to right click, copy image. I'm going to go back into Excel. I'm going to go into box A1 here, and I'm going to hit. Paste. You can hit Control C and Control V if you want as well. Okay. Now there's a picture of my beautiful Alabama football helmet. Who is number twelve for Alabama? Anybody know? No. Nope. Now he played back in the uh, late '60s and '70s. Johnny Rogers. Guy by the name of Joe Namath, Broadway Joe, played for Alabama. Okay, so what we want to do um, is we probably that's probably a little bit too big, so I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna make my cell A1 a little bit bigger. So cell A1 is gonna fit around that football helmet. All right. Everybody with me? No. Okay, so a couple of the problems that we've incurred, right? Okay, so we want to make sure we can you can right click and remove hyperlink if you if there was a hyperlink on there for you. That's one of the uh, things that you can do. And then yeah, I'm just moving. I'm not actually it's not actually in that cell per se, but it's just I move it here. Now one thing that you can do, this is a pretty cool thing trick in Excel. All right, if I go over here, so make your A a little bit longer. Right, just make your A a little bit longer. If I actually g click on here, and then I hit the Alt key, hold down Alt, and drag this over, notice what it does. All right, so it'll stretch it out to as far as uh, that A is. So that is one little trick that you can do there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually. I don't want it to be that big, so I'm gonna move it back. But so I'm gonna go here, Alt. Move it back. Okay. And let's move that in a little bit here. Okay. So, everybody to this point. Okay, now here's the next thing that we are going to do. We're going to leave cell A2 blank. Okay, we're going to leave cell A2 blank. We're going to go down to cell A3. I'll explain it. We're leaving A2 blank because I said so. Very good answer. Who said that? Thank you. And I'm in charge. I'm the bearer. All right. Okay. So, cell A3. Okay. Cell A3. Here's what we're going to do. Ready? You guys ready to have a fun formula in here? Here we go. Ready? Here's what we're going to type in. Let me... Let me uh, 
let me increase the size of my screen here for those playing along at home so they can see it. Okay, here's what we're going to type in this one. We're going to type in the word, or we're going to type in first equals. If, if, left parenthesis, so equals, if, left parenthesis, then we're going to click on cell A2. So we're going to say, if cell A2 equals, quotation mark, Alabama, quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, you got it, quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, try again, quotation mark, right parenthesis, enter. Uh, no, you don't have to have any space. There's really no spaces in there. Maybe, I don't know. There's no reason to, to have spaces. It should. I don't it, it, Then you don't, if it says contains an error, then you don't have exactly what I have up there. You have to have the quotation marks. You have to have everything as I have it on the screen right here. I did not. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe I did. I, I maybe I did. Okay. Now, okay. Go ahead, and we're gonna hit enter. Now, another way that we can do this. Okay. Listen up. Another way of doing this that may be a little easier for you. We can go up here to insert function. So if you click on insert function, and we want to click on if. You can just do cell A4. We want to do logical. If, if that's not up, do logical. And we want to do if. Hit OK. Now, notice this comes up. You got to go logical under the drop down box. You have to, first of all, yeah, go logical under the drop down box. Under the, do you go to insert function? You got to go click on FX. And then you got to go logical and then find if. Okay, now, so what we can do is we can type in the information here as well. So we can type in basically what this is saying. If A2 equals quotation mark Alabama quotation mark, okay, then if true, what we want to do is we want to say you got it. Quotation mark. And if it's false, we want to say, nope, try again, or sorry, try again, or better luck next. Actually, I'm going to type in this one. I'm going to say, better luck, better luck next time. Quotation marks. Okay, so here's another way of putting it in and doing it as soon as you hit OK. Notice that it says, better luck next time. Let's continue on. Okay, so I'm actually going to use the better luck next time, um, and you got it. So now let's test this out, make sure that this is working. So in cell A2, I'm going to type in Alabama, Alabama, and notice it changes to you got it, right? It changed it to you got it. Okay, so again, test it out. Alabama should come up. If you type in Nebraska... Notice what happens. Changes to better luck next time. You can pick whatever words you want. Yes, you can go in there and change it. Okay? So, now, the next thing that we are going to do, all right, is we are going to go below better luck next time. And what we're going to do is we are going to type in this uh, following formula. So get ready for the formula. We're going to do it in cell A4. Okay, so if you follow along, it'll be very simplistic. Okay, and I'll do the insert function because I think that's probably a little bit easier for people. Okay, so we're going to go up here to insert function. 
And we're going to find again the logical, and we want if. And hit OK. So here's what we're going to say this time. If cell A3, so type in A3 equals, uh, what was my thing? You got it? Okay, you got it, quotation mark. So again, insert function, that fx, logical, pick the if, our logical test. A, if cell A3 equals, you got it, okay, our value of true. So our value of true here is going to be 1, and our value if false is going to be 0. Okay, because I have Nebraska typed into my A2, so that's why it's showing up false, because it's not correct. If you have Alabama typed into cell A2, it's showing up as true. Okay? Then if you hit OK, notice what happens. Zero. All right, let's go back up to cell A2. Let's type in Alabama. Notice now it shows as one. All right, so what I want to do here is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to <coughs> format this here a little bit, although it doesn't really matter. If you want to, you can change it to bold and center, and do all those things if you want. All right, so that's one of the things that we can do. All right, now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do, and I don't think you guys have talked about it yet, what's called conditional formatting. It's a pretty cool thing, conditional formatting. Okay, notice if you're on your home tab, there's a little uh, thing right up here that says conditional formatting. So we're going to put in some conditional formatting for cell A3. All right. Now, if you have something besides you've got it and better luck next time, you're going to have to put in those words, but follow along with me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here to conditional formatting. We're going to click conditional formatting. We're going to type in highlight cell rules. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, go to where it says text that contains. Text that contains. Highlight, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, text that contains. We're going to click on that. And notice that it's going to pull this thing up. Okay, so what cell are we, do we want the cells that, what cell are we looking for? We're looking for cell, uh, format cells that contain the text. So what text do we want? In my case, um, if it's the correct answer, yes, it's you got it. Okay, notice as soon as you do that, okay, okay, it's going to, Change it to, right now we have light red fill with dark red text. Well, I don't want necessarily that one. So what I want is I want green fill with dark green text. And notice it's changed color. Correct? So I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in Nebraska. Notice it changes it to better luck next time. Correct? or whatever yours says. Yep, and the color should go away. Now, I also want to conditionally format it. So, if I'm going to go back up to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, text that contains, and I'm going to type in better luck, or I can just type in better, actually. Okay, I just type, for me, I just type in better, the first word, and notice it changes it to red. And I'm going to keep it light red fill with dark red text. And I'm going to hit OK. That is called conditional formatting. No, I, I just was using Alabama because it starts with an A. All right? So now, so again, if we now notice, if we type in Alabama here, it should be you got it. All right? Now, we can also um, bold this, center it, make it bigger if we want. All right? 
Same thing with this cell here. We can do bold it, center it. Okay? So again, we've created formulas here. Notice again our formula. It's, it seems like it's a difficult formula when you start, when you look at it there. But if you just logically make it, talk through it in your head. What this formula is saying is if, right here, if cell A2 equals the word Alabama, anytime you do words, you have to do quotation, then if that is true, then it, it'll return back, you got it, and if it returns it back as false, then it'll be better luck next time. That's all that cell is saying. Same thing with this cell here is if cell A3 equals you got it, then we're going to get one point for true and zero points for false. That's all that that is saying there. Okay, let's go ahead and save this at this point right now. Let's save it as Excel Picture Quiz. So go, uh, you can just hit that Save button there. It'll pull up the Save As. And I want you to save it on your server, server as Excel Picture Quiz Template. Okay, so again, what we want to do is we want, we're going to do about 25 of these, 25 to 26 pictures. So what we want to do is highlight cell uh, B, C, D, and E, go in between there, and we want to go out to, what did I say, 194 pixels? Okay, so now it's going to be the same width here. And then what we're going to do here for, uh, for the um, height is 170 pixels, that'll be fine. But then for this one here, we want to go again to 170 pixels. Because then we're going to put other pictures in here as well. Yeah, so in between, in between, uh, in between uh, 5 and 6, we drag that down. So we, then we go 6, 7, 8, and then 9 we want to drag down to, what did I say, 70 pixels? Or, uh, A five is 170. So then we want to make nine 170 as well. You can make it whatever you want. I'm not like, not that concerned. Make it big enough that you can put a picture in there. Okay. So just 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 do the first two rows. If you do uh, one and you then you do in between five and six. Okay. So go back out to Google Images. Get the Baylor picture. Okay, now, I want you to highlight you got it and number one here or zero, whatever you have there. Go down to the bottom right corner where you get the black plus sign and drag that over. And notice what will happen. It says better luck next time. Just a second. Now, here's what you need to do. This is very important and vital. Notice that this is going back to cell, uh, or this is looking for Alabama. All we have to do now is change Alabama to what? Baylor. And notice that that now has changed. Okay, so if I type in Baylor here, it'll say you got it. That's the only change I have to make, right? So that's pretty simple, pretty easy. Now what you can do actually is you can highlight these here drag these across, then I could actually do this. I have all those. I can I hit copy. I can go down here to cell 7, hit paste. I can keep doing that down. I only have to do the formula that one time. We've already done the formula. So here is what you will be doing. You can pick anything. I don't want you to pick necessarily sports teams. You could put, pick breeds of dogs. You could pick famous celebrities. You could pick... Um, cats. You could pick countries, flag, uh, country flags. You could pick state capitals. I don't care what you pick. Pick something that you're interested in, something that would have a picture, okay? And then all you have to do is you can then delete this out of there and then all you have to do is come in here and change the name. Maybe yours is you want to do, um, maybe you're doing uh, states and the state flags. And so this one is instead of Alabama, maybe it's um, Nebraska. And all you have to do is just come in here and type in Nebraska. And then change. Then when you change this up here, notice it. Nebraska. Boom. We got it. So that's all you have to do in each one of those. 
Okay? So again, I'd probably save this, and then I want you to pick something you're interested in. It could be famous celebrities. It could be movies, right? Movie, um, it could be music, musical, uh, whatever. As long as there's some picture that I could, then I could, you could have somebody represent it. Okay? Let's work on, let's work on that, and then either myself via video or myself live next week is going to show you how to fine tune this and protect some of the cells, password, uh, or uh, be able to um, do some of the cells so you can't see it. And you're also going to, we're going to put on um, a header up at the top that has points, um, number correct, total, percentage correct. We're going to do some of that type of stuff as well. But let's focus in on this for now, for now.